the concept of unity that you had mentioned. Share your definition of unity and maybe give some tools or ways to find unity for those who don't can find it or are not sure if they if they know what it is. I suppose. Yeah, I think there was um, a time when I felt very disconnected, like right during the pandemic and the aftermath. I felt like I wasn't really showing up as a leader the way that I wanted. I didn't feel like I was on the super highway of success. I was, I felt I was on the service road right next to it. And I wasn't far off, but I was like, I'm not on it quite yet. And um, that was a really, it led me to sort of explore my philosophical beliefs about, about life really, and try to, to reorganize my priorities. Many of us did that right after the pandemic, we started trying to reconcile what role work plays and our businesses play uh, in our lives. And what came back to me as I started to study, you know, the real nature of, of, of life and the universe and things. And for me, it sent me back to a meditation cushion and trying to figure out some stuff. It really helped me understand a lot more about unity. And the fact is that in every domain, whether you're into quantum physics or whether you're into uh, contemplative science, whatever it might be, this concept of unity is very, very powerful. And it's very true. It's just very hidden. So we are connected in ways that we don't even always appreciate. Like even now, as you and I have a conversation, we're listening to the content of each other's uh, talk and speech, but we're also in our brains picking up on patterns of either inflection or voice or maybe body language. There's a level of communication happening that we're not even conscious about. We're, we're subconsciously communicating in addition to our conscious communication. There's a connection there. There's uh, in, in a physics sense, there's gravity that it, all objects impart on one another. And we never think about it. It's maybe imperceptible in some ways, but it's there. So whether you're into physical reductionism or whether you're into contemplative wisdom, philosophical existential stuff, all you'll find is unity. Everything else and all of the power that our brain has to sort of discriminate and dissect, and this is good and that's bad and judge, judge, and all this kind of stuff, it's all layered on top of that. So when we sit down and we cut through all that, that nonsense and we get down to unity, we start looking at one another very differently. We start looking at the role our organizations play inside our communities differently. We look at our stakeholders differently. The role of our business and its ability to impact our customers differently. Unity is, is really at the heart of, of all of it. And if we're finding any problems in our business or in our personal life, we'll find some artificial separation and we just have to fight our way back to unity. What are some things, for lack of a better word, that, or some indicators rather, that basically tells me, hey, try, focus on your unity, uh, trying to find what your unit is, uh, do some digging, the same thing that happened to you during the pandemic. I love to know, because if I'm, or anybody in the audience is really successful from a, a numbers standpoint, uh, is there something that need to be looking out uh, for or maybe being paying attention to to make sure that one they know what the new unity is or two that there's still a unit talking about unity if my question makes sense one clear area inside organizations is a lack of engagement so when we start okay. to see that employees are disengaged or if they're frustrated if you see any amount of turnover any sort of withdrawal if you're a solopreneur and you're experiencing it yourself or you're like i'm just not quite as into my work as i once was the, in my experience, what happens oftentimes is we've got this, the volume knob on our self-interest is kind of higher than it, it really uh, should be. And then all of a sudden, everything is like, that's external to me. That's not going well. This person's doing a thing, you know, all these sorts of, uh, of things. Unity can help us bring that back and start to shift our attention back to the needs of others. So as an example, if I, if I say that everybody on my team, like how many of them you know, wish to be happy and, and, and don't want to suffer? And the answer is all of them. And me too. We're all, we're all alike in that regard. But how much time do I spend thinking about my own interests relative to theirs? Jeez, the, the, the you know, default chatter in my head is all about me, 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 my world. I'm late to the dry cleaners. I'm not going to be able to pick up my shirt and this, that. It's just all me all the time. And uh, that's not a great way to keep others feeling that sense of belonging and uh, some of those other exercises we were just talking about around alignment and all these things. So to me, I think seeing that we're uni universally aligned when it comes to sort of our, our collective interests uh, is a much healthier way of, of making sure people feel a part of a team and, and that we, we have the right way of looking at, at life. Yeah.